What's going on everybody? So uh, I was getting ready to do something and I thought, man, maybe I should just go ahead and video this in case anybody else has the same problem or maybe they want some kind of solution for their placement of their pumps for their brewing system, such as the claw hammer system, which I'm using currently. One thing I've kind of hated is that the way the system's set up right now is I have this pump here. I'm not sure what kind of pump it is. It's really not a brand name to it. Got a little rust here actually from banging it around already. This is just a mounting bracket. But the problem is, is when I'm using this thing, um, actually it's not rust. It's an old wort. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> when I'm using this thing in the brewery, it sits on the floor and uh, this plugs into the controller, of course. But the thing about it is I want to mount this higher up on the brewing system. So it's like, you know, kind of waist level high with the table. And then I can just hook my hoses to it and disconnect them. And I don't have all this extra long hose that I'm having to worry about trying to drain out uh, after the mash is done. And then when it comes time to clean and everything, I also <laughs> hate having to like, connect to this thing on the floor. So I've come up with this idea. I would like to make like just a homemade table mount for my stainless steel table. And I don't want to drill into my table or anything. I love that table. And I would like to keep from doing any damage to that. That's not necessary. So what I've got is an idea. And um, I have some old, if you get some old lumber laying around your garage, which you might, if you have a garage or a workshop, you might already have some of this stuff kind of laying around. I do. Um, I got some old shelf board uh, left over from uh, just different projects in the house. So what I want to do is actually I want to use this the face of this board to mount my pump to. So it'll be mounted like like so. And I want to take these other two thin boards that I had laying around in the shed or garage actually. And I would like to just kind of rip them in half and they will be kind of like braces that just slide onto the table and the pump um, will be mounted. These are, these will be mounted to the board face. So let's uh, take a look at what we're doing here. So I got this board. I got this board here. Um, what I'm going to do is just measure out the halfway point on it. It's about a 24 inch board. I'm going to just cut it at the 12 inch mark here. So I'm just going to mark it at 12 inches about. Alright, then I'm going to take my square. If you got a square, it's good to use one. Get your lines straight here. And I'm just going to draw a line at that mark. So when I'm using the uh, rip saw, I'll cut it on that line. And I'm going to do the same thing with this other board. I'm just going to find a halfway point here. It's 30 inch board, so we're going to mark it at the 15. And these longer, these boards are longer. Uh, didn't do that on purpose. It's just how long the board is. But the longer boards will be my under mount legs. So there's a halfway mark. And then this guy here is going to set the pump on here. Just setting the pump on here. Kind of want it to be not too wide, but wide enough that it, you know, maybe just a couple inches in on each side, maybe three, maybe three inches in on each side here. So I'm just gonna come in and say, okay, here's a three inch mark here to the back of this pump, roughly. And then it's gonna come in out from where the uh, pump big it is here and it's going to go three inches or actually you know what I think I'm just going to go from the pump body the pump body here out three inches just enough that it doesn't take up too much space on my table but it'll still serve its purpose to mount this pump 
and uh, I'll be able to slide it onto the table and you guys will get a better idea of what I'm doing here when I actually demonstrate it. Um, also, kind of we figured out where we're going. We want to go fair enough out on the other side when we're mounting this thing. Just to give a little space. I'm just gonna eyeball it and say, uh, I want it to come about just enough space on each side of it. And another thing you want to consider too is uh, when you put your board down, you want to make sure that you have enough length of the board and I'll have plenty it looks like. So I'm just going to come out and mark it right about here. And we can draw a straight line on that with the square. So what I'm going to do is come over here with my square draw some construction lines like so. So we can see on my board here, this is how wide it's gonna be, this construction line that I drew to the end, that's how wide the board's gonna be. And I'm gonna use the square here to draw a line over. We'll draw a line over from the edge using some construction lines. And then you can kind of just eyeball it if you want. Just kind of keep those lines straight with each other. Just line your square up and continue to draw those lines across because these are going to be your guidelines for ripping the board on your saw. Just like so. So now, when I go to saw this board, I will saw down this line and then just saw straight across. And that'll be ample space for my pump to be fastened to, like so. And then also on the back side, we'll have these board legs. Okay, the idea is I want, I had to back step for a second. I am doing this on the fly here. My table is um, it's about two inches thick um, from this top surface to the under lip of it. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that these boards are two inches apart when, I, when they slide onto the table. So basically we're kind of doing like a clamp effect and they're going to go on the board like so, basically parallel and then the pump will be fastened to the face. So, like I said, we wanna make sure they're two inches apart, so I need to come in here, and the, I'm still gonna rip the face like I showed, but we need to make sure that um, I take the total here and make sure that we have two inch lines apart from each other. So let's make this just, um, Let's make this construction line four inches from the edge. That way I can just do the math and it's easier. So we come in two inches. Or an inch on each side, I should say. So we want to come in one inch on each side from the four inch mark. One inch, and from here, one inch. So let me redraw my construction lines here. Okay, so we're gonna take the pump, we're gonna place it on the board, and I wanna come in, maybe give about an inch clearance from the back of the pump to the edge of the board. And I also wanna give an inch clearance from the front of the pump out. So we'll do, let's go an inch and a half. Okay. So we're an inch in, inch here. So that's where we're gonna draw our construction line here. So I'm gonna come over and draw a construction line going straight up. 
right there. So my pump's going to sit on this small space here. Like so, and I want to make sure I have enough clearance. So we're going to do, let's just do uh, four inches up the side here. It's easier to measure with even numbers. So let's just go with four inches. That four inch mark will give me enough clearance on the side of the pump. Like so. So. Go ahead and draw our construction lines across from that four inch mark. Just like that. And then I can just kind of keep that line straight the rest of the way here. Just kind of follow the line. Cool. So now I have a perfect rectangle here that my pump is going to mount to. And um, next thing I need to do is I've got to figure out placement of these boards. So the idea is when I mount the pump and I mount these legs or clamps, if you will, they're going to kind of go like, like so. I'm going to have one here and like one like that. So it clamps to the table, if you will, provides support. And I can slide it off and move the pump if I need to and stuff. So not a permanent setup, which I, which I was going for. So the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out um, these boards, because my table is two inches thick. Um, we need to make sure that these boards are spaced apart about two inches. So let's go ahead and measure that. So let's go ahead and measure one inch in here and one inch in here. All right? And I'm going to go ahead and draw construction lines for that as well. There's a one inch, and here's the other one inch. So we've got one inch and one inch, right? And if you want to double check it with your measuring tape, always good to do so. Cool. Yep, one inch and one inch. So what that means is when I place these boards, the inner part of the board is going to be. at the one inch line, like so. And the other board would be the same. So we got that table space in between and this will kind of clamp it. So that's it, man. And all that's left is the cut and uh, we'll go out to the garage and do all that cutting here shortly. So I'm gonna basically, all I'm gonna have to cut is just this rectangle out and then I'm going to cut these two boards in half, do a little drilling, put some screws in, fasten it to this and we're done. So uh, we'll get to that here in a little bit. All right guys, what I got here is just a regular old old shelf. I'm just using it to hold, <laughs> hold on, use as a saw horse essentially. I'm going to line up my zero on my saw with the line and cut. There's one. Go ahead and cut this one too.
And last but not least, this guy. So what I want to do first is kind of come in on it like so. I know the lighting's terrible, but got all my pieces cut. Now we just gotta drill some holes, put this all together. All right, so next step here, what I'm essentially doing is I'm taking this board and this board. Remember I said this is the two inch gap I need. This line here is where this board needs to meet up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill into here from the other side of this board and then um, and then do it for the other four pieces and then we can put the screws in. We want to go in about three eighths inches on this board so I'm going to go in three eighths on here. Three eighths, let's go an inch in on each side. An inch Then we'll go halfway in. Draw construction lines here. And the board is three eighths. Let's go three eighths on here. Actually, it is. Yeah. Starting to poke through. Yeah, it looks like they're going to meet up. So. Some of y'all are probably still trying to grasp the concept exactly of what I'm doing uh, if I wasn't clear enough. This is what the final product looks like. Um, basically, it's like, you know, pretend my hand is the table. This will slide over. My hand's too thick, but 
<laughs> her arm is, it'll slide over the table like that. And my pump mounts on this. So I can basically just simply slide this off the table when I don't want to use it. And I can just leave the pump attached to this. So in theory, sounds like it'll work. We'll see. Um, the next thing I got to do is attach the pump to it. And then I'll show you guys uh, my final concept once we uh, go out to the brewery. So bear with me. There it is, my pump mount for the table. Basically, you should be able to simply just slide it off my table and slide it on. So let's demonstrate it here on this little um, shelf unit I've been drilling on and using as a sawhorse for a moment. All right, let's see how it works. Ta-da! And that's how it'll go. It'll slide on just like that. And then when I don't want to use it, I just simply take the pump and just slide it right off. So let's go check and see how it does on the actual brewery table. All right, guys, here's the uh, pump. Like I said, shorter legs on top, longer legs on bottom. Let's go ahead and see if she fits on there. It looks like she's gonna be super snug on here. I'm actually moving my table a little bit. But uh, just like that, man, just have her on there. And basically um, when I want to hook up the hoses, I'm actually gonna shorten my hoses so that uh, I have a short run just from the pump out to the pump in here. And then the pump out will go up to the top of the kettle. I just got tired of uh, having this pump on the floor. And uh, if I don't have enough flow down to the pump, what I can do is actually just elevate my pot a little bit, not a big deal, but I think it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I want to, this hose right here, or this hose right here, would, um, it's my normal pump connect hose, and it just like, you know, connects on like so, connects here, like so. So before I shorten this hose at all, which I'm thinking I will do. Um, what I'll do is I'll shorten it to where it just kind of flows like so. And um, see how that works. And then I'll have the other hose, I'll probably shorten it as well. My super long uh, hose that I was running to the floor. I was running this fairly long hose down to the floor and then from the floor to the top of the uh, kettle, what I'll probably do, well, I might just leave it alone. Just, you know, it'll connect here, you know, like so, and then to the top of my kettle. Boom. So I may not even have to do anything with that one. Well, the idea is, so the idea is that, um, one thing I notice when I'm brewing with this system that bothers me is that, um, when I disconnect all these lines, I have a lot of wort still left in the line, so I'd like to have some gravity on my side here to help drain these hoses into like a cup or something. Uh, because right now what I've been experiencing is like, I'll get wort on the floor sometimes and it's just not, it's just not efficient, it's not practical. But uh, I think having this table mounted uh, pump setup will be way better and I like that it's not a permanent mount. Um, that way if I ever do need to set the pump elsewhere I can. Uh, but for this, I think it's going to help me 
substantially uh, with my brew day. But <clears throat> I may actually just leave, I probably will just leave this hose long, um, but I'm definitely gonna shorten the hose that runs from the kettle over to my pump. Maybe you guys, let me zoom down. And I know I've been wearing Christmas pajamas this whole time, so just whatever, man, deal with it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna my pump out, or my, my kettle out port here. I'll run over to the pump. I'll cut this line so that it's kind of runs just over, and it is. The pump is lower than the kettle, so it should just naturally drain over to the pump without issue. I'm just gonna have to uh, play with it, you know? And um, I'm thinking, uh, when I use my chiller, this, my chiller would be on the floor anyhow, so I would just simply just run pump out to the chiller and chiller out like normal to the fermenter uh, or to a kettle. So I can leave this hose long. I'm sitting here thinking about this while I'm doing this video. So if you see the gears turn into my head a little bit, it's because this is fresh and new and this is a very much an impromptu video, hence the pajamas. <laughs> but I thought I needed to like capture this on video in case anybody else has a claw hammer system and they just don't like having their pump on the floor. Um, and I really wanted my pump stationary. And the next thing I'm gonna look at doing also is probably mounting my uh, control box on the wall off the table. Um, but I don't wanna do it directly underneath my fan because my fan does drip water from condensation sometimes when I'm cooling or when I'm pulling the exhaust out and I haven't really found a way to really make that better other than just, I could put a picture under there to catch the water, I guess. It doesn't hurt the fan. The fan's designed for moisture. But um, anyways, so that's what I'm doing, guys. Um, I just, I wanted to come up with a way to mount my pump to the table, but not in a permanent manner that I can just slide it off. So it is a bit snug. I may actually uh, come back and tinker, tweak it a little bit. But uh, for first run, not too bad. So let me pop these loose. And you just have to pry up on the board a little bit and slide from this side first. And this is a bit snug. So it probably has more to do with like the angle that my screws went in into these boards. <laughs> But anyways, it works for me and it's gonna be fantastic uh, to be able to just take this thing off the table when I don't need it. Um, so I, I'm very happy that now this is an option. So when I'm not using it, you can simply just set it on the table, really. I mean, it sits on the table just fine. What do y'all think, man? Comment down below in the comments and tell me what you think. I, I think it's a pretty cool way to mount your pump without it being permanent. I hope this video has been informative to some degree and uh, brush all the sawdust off me. <laughs> so if you liked the video, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, just share the video if you think it's gonna be educational for somebody else. And uh, once again, I appreciate all new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, like I said, hit the subscribe button. And uh, as I come up with ideas that I think are worthy content, I'll be posting them here on this channel like I always do. So anyways, guys, cheers, and we'll see you soon.